Hello, everyone. Happy Wednesday to you. Happy Hump Day. This is Chelsea Till of Return Electronics. We are going to start kicking off this Caseta Wireless webinar today. Uh, so thank you, everyone, who is attending. This is the second one that we're doing. We will continue to have these as long as well as in-person trainings. Um, so if you go to Western's website, which I'll show you here in a minute, they do have a full calendar of trainings all throughout Southern California, Los Angeles, Orange County, Inland Empire, and San Diego. <laughs> so first off, thank you. This is actually our second, not our first. Uh, Jim Reisnyder is the principal of Western Lighting and Energy Control Solutions. And my name is Chelsea Till. I'm a senior sales engineer with Lutron Electronics. I've been with Lutron about four years, focused here in the Southern California market, and we'll soon also be helping with some of the higher education opportunities coming along. To give you a quick overview of Western's wonderful team, we have everyone really scattered about. This is specifically our distribution team. They handle most of the uh, Caseta business in the area. And we also actually have about 40 people that work for Western and about 15 people that work for Lutron here in the Southern California market. So between Jim and I, if we can't help you, we can get you to the right person. So one of the things that we do it, for any of those who are interested in getting some Caseta, adding it to a job, or even possibly just putting it into your own home, with this webinar, we are doing a special. So you buy $225 of Caseta Wireless from your friendly neighborhood electrical distributor. We will be giving out free in-wall dimmer kits. The kit includes a Caseta Wireless dimmer, one of our wireless Pico remotes, and also a one-gang face plate. So you'll be getting that $80 value completely for free if you place an order by Wednesday. So for those of you who want to purchase more than one, that is A-OK. -okay. We are more than happy to sell you as much as you would like. So why Caseta? For those of you who are familiar with Caseta Wireless or with Lutron in general and our, home, and our wireless and also residential products, we really have kind of missed the niche here for quite some time. So. Uh, smart home technology is really becoming very popular, taking over the market these days. And we've actually been a smart home technology for many, many years. We launched HomeWorks way probably 20 plus years ago, um, which is really for the Oprahs of the world, Leonardo DiCaprio. You know, there's really, really nice homes in, in Newport. Then we also came out with Radio Raw and now onto Radio Raw Q. Another great product, fully wireless, great for retrofit, really just still at a higher price point. Um, great product here in Southern California. Might not be, you know, into small, smaller homes or rural areas. So before Caseta Wireless, really the best options for them were maybe Maestro Wireless, uh, Maestro Sensors, even Diva, Skylark, regular wall box dimmers. But it really missed this niche for people that really wanted to have some sort of home control, more security, ability to check on their home when they're not there. And that's really where Kids Data comes into play. So filling that niche to give some of the great benefits of home lighting control at a more affordable price to give to the masses. So that's what we're here for. We've got lots of different cool opportunities to do that with, and I'll share you a lot of our sales tactics and some of the things that we go after. And we're, again, more than happy to come out and help each one of you with any of your opportunities. All right, so connected products equals opportunity. So think about this. Whenever you sell a dimmer into a home, we used to talk about how you know that ambiance is so fantastic. Once you have it, you really want to put it everywhere. So this is a, another thing. You know, everything is attached to your cell phone these days. You can do all of your mapping through your phone. You can communicate in many, many different fashions through your phone. 
you can control lots of different things, garage doors, thermostat, um, even down to your turning off faucets these days. So the more that you can tie all these things in together, it makes people excited and it also gives them more sense of security of their home. Here's an interesting timeline to show you. So we obviously are very technologically advanced, and it's impossible to pretty much keep up. I feel like my mom now, you know, she's always asking me for stuff on my phone, but now she knows it better than me, and I'm trying to keep up with all the new stuff that's going on every day. So the light bulb was invented back in 1879, and basically nothing really changed for quite some time in the lighting industry, really until LED, and now we all know LED has taken over, and even just the technology from the first LED to what's available now is completely changed and constantly changing. Um, back in 1969, we were able to put NASA, or have NASA put someone on the moon, which is an amazing, incredible feat. Lots of crazy technology going into that, and now if you look at our homes, we actually have more technology in a home than NASA even had in 1969 to send a man to the moon. Pretty interesting stuff. Um, another thing to note here, the Clear Connect Wireless is uh, technology has actually been invented almost 20 years ago now. We first launched that with Radio Raw, and um, we still use this technology today. This has been uh, released into Maestro Wireless and some of our other commercial products and we also use it today in Caseta Wireless. So let's get down into the meat of the matter, which is Caseta Wireless. So this is a simple, affordable, and reliable family of products. So, and the great thing about Caseta is that it is a very small uh, family of products. So everything you see here is pretty much everything that is included. So um, there's not a lot of different types of dimmers. We really try to go towards more of a universal dimmer that can control a lot of different lights. So we'll jump into that now. One of the great things about Caseta Wireless is, you know, we talk about the ability to have a smart home technology and do all these things. But really, this is really just a great, simple dimmer and system to use if you just want to use Picos. And we actually find that most people, once they have Caseta into their home, when they're actually at their home, they're not usually using their phone to control the house. They're actually really using the Picos. So we'll talk a lot about that, essentially how you can kind of get people excited about Caseta, get them hooked, get them wanting more. And the greatest thing about Caseta is really its ability to give you add-on sales. So once you give someone even a, a lamp module and a Pico, trust me, they will find other places they want to put it. So let's start first off with the plug-in lamp dimmer. So this is one of the simplest products to use. Even a blonde like me, I can easily plug that into a receptacle. There's no wiring, anything like that. This device can be used for LED or incandescent. And it also has the ability to control two lamps at one time. So there's actually two plugs, one on each side. And then last but not least, if you hold the top and bottom button, this can actually revert into a switching module. So if you have things, if you have a light that you just want to switch on and off, you can do that. Um, a little secret, little tip of the trade, one of the things I do, I don't have air conditioning at my home, so I actually use it to turn on and off some of my fan loads. Um, don't dim them. I highly, I promise you will highly regret trying to do that. But if you use it as a switching module, you can use it to, to turn on small appliances. Caseta wireless dimmers, as I mentioned, we like to keep it simple, right? So shorter part numbers, and also we really only have two SKUs. Very simple. So first off, the in-wall dimmer, this is going to be your standard Caseta dimmer. So again, this is 150 watts of LED, 600 watts of incandescent. Comes in four fabulous different gloss colors. And um, you can also do a mix. So if you are someone who just has a couple LEDs in their home and they're slowly changing out the incandescent or the CFLs as they're adding in the LED. Not a problem. This is actually rated for mixed loads. Uh, there are compatible lists for the LED lamps, so make sure that you are using approved lamps to get the correct dimming uh, capabilities that you're looking for. 
Next, we also have a newer product, which is called the Dimmer Pro. So this guy can do 1,000 watts of incandescent or 250 watts of dimmable LED. It is also fully rated at 1,000 volt amp for ma uh, magnetic low voltage. Um, one of the things you'll notice is we are missing an electronic low voltage dimmer. The Pro can actually be used with some of our different dimming uh, modules like our PHPM so that you can do electronic low voltage. You could also hook this up if you have any 0 to 10 volt. If someone got some of that into your home, you could also use that from Pro dimmer to control those things as well. Then we also have two versions of a switch. Uh, both are actually the exact same price. So I usually tell people if you are a, a distributor to stock the Pro version. So that is going to be your PD-5WS-DV. That DV stands for dual voltage. So one of the applications I've actually had people do is apartment complexes that have things such as even like a fountain in the front area or maybe some outside lighting. And they'll use these pro switches in those areas just to be able to use uh, the timer function, which we'll talk about when you add the Smart Bridge Pro. Um, you can also use these switches with occupancy sensors, with our wireless radio power saver sensors, if they are not added into the system. So from a simple standalone point of view, you can add aux sensors to these switches. Again, they come in our four standard fabulously glossy colors, white, light almond, ivory, or black. Pico, the power of the Pico. I always say, Anytime someone asks me what my favorite Lutron product is, Pico is by far my favorite thing. No, I will not have that on my engagement ring. My boyfriend should still have to get me a diamond, but I can tell you we will have Picos all over our house. I'm a huge fan of these. Um, great thing about the Pico, a lot of times when we ask people, you know, standard battery life, they would say one to two years. This is actually 10-year rated. It has a nice little LED, so whenever you press the buttons, you, it gives you the feedback that it's sending the message. We have a lot of different flavors, different colors, uh, different button configurations, and you really can use this in a lot of different applications. So over here, one of the newer products we have, uh, launched I believe last year, is our four-button Pico, which can be used for a couple different things. So that can be either used for um, a keypad, or it can also be used as on-off buttons, like a toggle switch. All right, so a couple different ways that you can mount your Pico, and that does sound pretty naughty. Um, you have a pestle version, so this could be a tabletop, so I actually have this in my living room. I have my uh, lamps around my living room all connected to one Pico, and I can use that to control them up and down directly. Uh, we also have a car visor clip. So if you want to be able to turn on some lights before you get home, as you pull into your driveway, press a button. I live in Hollywood. You never know what's going to be on the street in Hollywood. So I personally really enjoy the ability to turn my lights on before I get home. And then last but not least, by far, coolest thing you can do with Pico is you can put this into a wall mount kit. It does come as a standard decor size opening. And then you can actually put this anywhere that you don't have a switch. So, great story. I was in Boston with some of my friends, and if you are not familiar with the city of Boston, lots and lots of really cool old homes. Uh, this house used to, was actually built in the 1700s, so as you know, no electricity back then. So, their switches are in the worst places ever. And the bathroom switch, unfortunately, is nowhere near the bathroom. It's actually down the hallway and then in the kitchen. So, if your friends want to play a funny joke on you, and they're all guys and a frat, so you know they were doing this to each other all the time, would turn the light off, and then the person would be stuck in there until they were done, you know, doing what they're doing. So very simple way, you throw a Pico in the bathroom, and then you tie it to a Caseta switch that would be put into the location of the current switch, and la-di-da, they can go to the bathroom in peace. So applications for Pico. So first off, this is a true three-way wireless dimming. So if you're familiar with our Diva or some of our other wall box dimmers, you'll know that 
they can only tie to a remote switch and not a remote dimmer. You have to go to a digital type of dimmer in order to do three-way dimming. So this is a very, very simple way. You can have three-way dimming anywhere. It could be on your tabletop. It could be on a wall. Um, and the best part about it, it doesn't require a back box. So there's a little plastic piece that it slips onto, screws right onto the faceplate, and you're done. So anytime that an electrician would want to add a three-way in the past, you're cutting a hole into the wall, you're pulling that wire, you have to come back and do the drywall, repaint, make it all look good, and it's a very long and drawn-out process. Or you could buy a Pico for $21 retail and stick that on your wall, and you are good to go. Another great idea is you can actually use that Pico as a master control. So in, I'm you know, working for Lutron. I should be really good at this, but my boyfriend's constantly running around the house turning off every single light that I've left on. So instead of doing that, we have now one Pico right by our bedside. When we go to bed, press off. Everything in the house goes off. Nice, simple way to use that Pico to make everything a lot more convenient for your own self. And everyone has lamps in their house, right? Table lamps that are annoying to get to, that are shoved into the corner, and you turn them on, and then no one wants to turn them off because they have to do the obstacle course over the dog, over the, the couch and everything. So one of the best ways to get people hooked on it is just to leave one with them. Leave one lamp module and a Pico, and it's just like a drug dealer. You get them hooked, and they're going to want more. And, you know, Caseta is much more exciting than drugs anyway. So battery-powered shades. If you don't know about shades, motorized shades, you have been missing out, my friends. So these are great, great shades. We have two different types that are battery-powered, both the honeycomb and then the roller shade. So the honeycomb actually has cells in it. There's a couple different versions. We also have a, um, a blackout shade for that. And one of the reasons why I really like the honeycomb is if you actually have poor insulation in your home, it actually adds insulation to your windows, um, especially the room darkening or the blackout, like I just mentioned. They actually have a aluminum foil on the inside. So I don't like to wake up in the morning, so those are great, and I highly recommend them. Um, we also have the battery-powered roller shades. Again, these are D-cell batteries. They have an average life of three to five years with two ups, two downs per day. And another little story for you. So my mom, she loves the sunrise. She's kind of a little bit of a hippie. And she, I bought her battery powered shades for Christmas because, you know, I'm a wonderful daughter. Every morning she'd wake up and take a picture of the sunrise and send it to me with a caption like, seize the day or something really inspiring and motivational. So what I realized is that she does this every morning, no matter if that's the time that she's getting up for work or if she's going right back to bed. So with Caseta Wireless, what I actually did was set all of her shades onto a timer so that the shades actually open about five minutes before sunrise. So she gets that nice wake-up call to the sunrise. Now in the morning when I get those pictures, it just says, love my Lutron shades. All right, so we're going to take a second here to stop. So I saw some questions roll in, but if you have some other questions, go ahead and type them in now, and I will take some time to respond to these. Okay, so one question was, what does 21 plus list mean? So that is not 21 and older. That was actually your retail price. So our Picos do have a couple different prices depending on the version that you're using. I'm going to go back here. So the PJ23BRL, that's the one that has the on, off, raise, lower, and then that circular button in the middle. That's going to be the most cost effective. So that's going to be your $21 list. And then some of the other versions are going to be about $25. Those are all the white versions. They do come in different colors as well. So if you purchase some of the black ones, they are going to be at a higher cost. I don't remember the exact price, uh, but just to give you some ideas, starting at $21 for the standard Pico. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, great question. So what was the button press sequence on the dimmer module to make it a basic on-off switch, and can this be done with an in-wall dimmer? All right, so let me go back to the picture of the lamp module so I can give you a good idea. So if you look at this lamp module here, you'll see the white button, the top button is the on button, and then this button here is the off button. If you hold these two buttons down for about six seconds, so simultaneously, you'll see the little LEDs blink, and then that will create that on-off switch and take out the dimming control. Um, and then if you want to revert it back, you just do the exact same thing. So you hold the white button and the gray button on the bottom, and then that will make that into a switch. You cannot do that, unfortunately, with the in-wall dimmer. So you would have to choose one or the other one of uh, the dimmer or the switch. Okay, so we're going to move on. Um, if you have any other questions, go ahead and type them in, and we do have uh, two more staff that we'll have for more questions. <laughs> so just, again, a quick review of the standalone. You can use all of these different products by themselves with just the Pico, and you can add on at any time. So if you've got three or four of these dimmers or switches in one room, then you can add on that Pico, and later, whenever you're ready, you can add the smart switch. Um, I did have one more question that popped in, so I'll take care of this one now. So how easy is it to tie one Pico to several, several switches or dimmers? So there's two different ways that you could do this. You can, if, with the standalone version, what you would do is you go to any of the dimmer switches that you want to control, and you're going to hold that bottom button, which is the off button, for about six seconds until the LEDs on the side of the dimmer or the switch start to flash. Once you do that, you take the Pico that you want, you're going to hold that off button again for about six seconds. The LED will blink once, and then after a couple seconds, it'll blink a second time. At that point, you'll know that those two, uh, Pico and dimmer, are tied. Then you just keep moving. As you, if you want to have one Pico tied to two or three switches, you do the exact same thing to each switch. So you hold it down, the bottom button, the off button on each one of those devices, and then off on the Pico. So to give you an idea, the Pico can be tied to as many dimmers or switches as you want. So if you have a full system of 50 controls, you could have one Pico tied to all of those controls. On the other hand, um, so the Pico is the talker, right? So it's just shouting, just like me. I would be saying the same message to the, the 34 attendees that are on this right now or to 100 attendees, right? The listener, however, or the dimmer or the switch can only listen to so many Picos, right? So if you had multiple people talking to you at one time, it makes it very confusing. So the dimmer can listen to up to 10 different Picos in the system. So one Pico control as many things as you want. One dimmer or switch can be controlled by up to 10 Picos. All right. So let's jump back into the connected version. So we're going to start now talking about the smart bridge and the benefits and features that that adds to the Caseta system. If you have more questions, just Again, keep putting, sending them in, and I will get to those as we get to the next stop. So what is our Caseta Wireless Connected System? Once you add what's called the Smart Bridge, which is this device here on the left, this now allows you to integrate with the app and also control temperature from anywhere in the system, or anywhere in the world. So if you're in Tahiti, you can open and close your shades. Hopefully you're not worried about that when you're in Tahiti. So here's just a couple pictures from the app. On the left side here, you can see all of the different time clock scheduled events that are happening. So you can do sunrise, sunset, or you can also do a specific time to turn everything on or off or go to a set level. 
on the right side over here, you can see that this is controlling one device here, so your front porch light, and you can move this up and down to set the light level that you want, or if you press this button, this will be all on, this button, all off. There are two different types of smart bridges today. So the smart bridge, the standard, uh, supports up to 50 different wireless devices. The 50 devices include shades, picos, and dimmers or switches. The RF range is 30 feet, so that is a big bubble. So what we always say is we try to put this smart bridge into the most centralized location of your home. That would obviously be where your Wi-Fi needs to be as well. And this system could really do up to about a 2,500 square feet. Now what I will say, and I think a lot of people who have used Lutron wireless products before, is that our system works a lot better than we say it does. So if you have some spaces where you're not 100% sure if it'll reach, what we suggest is get a hold of one of us. We do have demo kits. We can um, put a demo on one side of your house, take a peek to the other side, make sure it's still talking. The SmartBridge Pro has all the same ability as the standard smart bridge. It increases your integration partner. So I will show a big long list of all the different uh, professional alliances that we have, uh, including universal remote control, Savant, Control 4, um, and many, many others. It also allows you to be compatible with our triathlon shades and some of our QS wireless shades um, as well. So you can buy this just on its own. And you can see the list prices there. We do have some pretty killer deals when you purchase that uh, smart bridge within a pack uh, and see your neighborhood this electrical distributor to see those packages. We do have many different types of temperature control. We actually sell a Honeywell Wi-Fi thermostat. You can see that in the middle of the page here. That is a Lutron branded device uh, that has our wireless clear connect built into it. We also work with other Honeywell Wi-Fi thermostats. If you are curious as to which ones and which models, just uh, send me a message later, and I can give you the long list of that. We also work with Nest, uh, Nest thermostats, and then we also just recently launched into their other uh, Nest Protect devices, which would be the smoke alarms and the carbon monoxide alarms, and all of that can be incorporated into your system. And then last but not least, the Carrier Core and Ecobee, these are two other smart thermostats that are out on the market. All of these integrate into our system. Um, one of the cool things about this, too, is if you do use a Nest thermostat, it doesn't go against the 50 device limit in our system. Geofencing. Geofencing is really, really cool. In fact, it's so cool that Broad2 and Homework didn't have it until earlier this year when we launched the Lutron Connect Bridge. So we actually started this in Caseta and then moved it to some of our older systems because everyone loved it so much. So what is geofencing? So you can see here this little pin that's pointed down. This would be where your home location is. This is actually in Pennsylvania, if you guys are wondering what, what this map is. And then this blue circle that goes around this is essentially a bubble. So if you enter or exit that bubble, something will happen. So what I mean by that, the world is not going to end, um, your lights will either turn on or off. So if you're coming home at nighttime, uh, it can actually turn on specific lights that you want to go on. Or when you're leaving in the morning, if you are like me and leave every single light on, it will actually send you a notification just like a text message that says, hey, you've left your lights on, would you like to turn those lights off? And you can say yes or no to that. A uh, couple of fun or interesting ways that you could use this. I actually had someone tell me that this is what they did. They you know, had some teenagers. You know how teenagers can be trying to sneak out and, and do things at nighttime. So what they did was they actually put the geofencing onto their kid's phone and put a light in the parent's bath or bedroom that would go on at night if the kid were to come home at a certain time. So that was a good way of just getting to, to know uh, what's going on. And again, a sense of security, make sure everybody's home. Uh, cool thing is you can do this up to two miles away from your house. So again, I told you about my mom. She's got shades and can stay at her home. I actually 
created that bubble to hit all the way to the highway there. So that way, anytime she gets off the highway, immediately the lights go on. So Apple Watch, this is another thing that we launched, I think, about a year and a half ago now. So we are able to be on the Apple Watch. We're one of the first products, actually, to be used on the Apple Watch. Uh, we also work with a lot of the other smartwatches out in the mar on the market, like the Android wearable. So if you enjoy your smartwatch, you can tie your system directly to that as well. Caseta also works with uh, Siri. So you can say, hey, Siri, turn my lights on. Hey, Siri, turn the kitchen lights to 50%. That is another thing that is added into this system. So if you like Siri, if you're good friends with her and she treats you right, then this is the product for you. Amazon Alexa. So this is really cool. This was actually just announced probably about two months ago. So we are now supporting Amazon Alexa. So if you have the Amazon Echo product in your home, you can buy toilet paper, or you could also turn your lights on to 50%. So really excited about that. Um, I've had a lot of questions about that. So check out on our website. We do have some press releases and some of the information that's going on with that product. Here's some of the other integration partners that we're working with. These integration partners will work with both your SmartBridge and your SmartBridge Pro. So some of them you'll notice like AT&T Digital Life and Comcast and Xfinity. They offer in-home uh, security systems and also your smart devices. So you can actually link all of our stuff into their app and control our products through their app. And then the professional alliances. So these are the products that will only work with your SmartBridge Pro. Um, so some of them to point out, Universal Remote Control, I know is really popular, Savant, Control 4, all of these require your SmartBridge Pro. Affordability. So we always talk about affordability, and really this is a great product. You know, we've had a lot of these. Uh, benefits and features and brought to you in homework, but as I mentioned before, we always were kind of missing this gap where, you know, someone wants something more than just to see a dimmer, but they don't want to pay, you know, $200 for a raw 2 dimmer. So, how affordable is it? I love this picture. I always show this one because they just look so angry. I can't even imagine my boyfriend getting this mad about a light switch, but, you know, some people don't want to get out of bed. So, you turn the light off, no, you turn it off, and, you know, how much is this going to cost for Lutron to solve your, your marital fight? Only $80 less. It's a lot less expensive than an attorney, guys. I'm telling you, this date is the way to go. So whole home, you've got 27 devices. So that is nine in-wall dimmers with Kiko. So you can think of those as your three ways. And another nine dimmers that don't have three ways. And one SmartBridge Pro to control the entire house. And what would that cost you? $1,500 retail price. So that is for your full shebang, everything you could want to do, every single room controlled, and you're looking at under you know $2,000 to do that. So about a dollar a square foot retail price. All right, so I saw some questions coming in. So I'm going to take a second to respond to some of these, and if you have other questions, go ahead and keep pushing those out. Okay, so first question, can you set a preset turn-in level for a dimmer? You can do this a couple different ways. So you can have a, a preset level um, by having themes. So you can actually program different themes into the app so if you want to have a movie night scene, you can press a button. Um, you can also do this with the Pico. So in that the three DRL Pico, there's a circular button in the middle, and that is the scene button. So I actually have that in my um, um, right as you walk out my front door. I have a Pico right by my door, and I have that set all the way down to 10% light level. So when I'm leaving my house, I leave on just a little bit of light. Uh, so when I walk back in, 
things are taken care of or for the dog because I take way too, too much care of my dog. So you can do that. You can also use the um, uh, time clock event. So if you want to have things come on at a certain time, you can set those to a preset level. It doesn't have to be on or off. It could be 10%. So there's a lot of different ways that you can, you can do that within the app. Um, so question, when will you be going over how the modules work with the dimmer? So I'm not 100% sure what you mean by that. I think what you mean is how you would do um, the PHPMs tied to a pro dimmer. If you could just write back in, that question was asked by Tom, um, and kind of explain that a little bit more, I will help you with that one. Yes, yeah, okay, so the next question is, can you choose what lights automatically turn on and off when you leave slash enter the geofence bubble? Yes, so every type device that is in your system, you can pick and choose between those which ones you want to come on. So if you want, um, when you leave, if you want a certain light to go on for the dog, you can do that. Or again, when you're coming home, you could have certain lights turn on. Uh, maybe you want a pathway into your bathroom or into your bedroom, something like that, exterior light. Um, so it's totally anything you can you want. You not only can choose which lights turn on and off, but you can also set what level they come on to as well. So if you only want to have a little bit of light, you could do that, or you could turn to full on. Um, another thing to note is if you are leaving your home, maybe you're leaving before your, your children or your significant other, uh, you can have the choice to either automatically turn lights off or just to send a notification. So what we usually recommend is just have it put it on a, a notification. So if you don't want to have lights turning off on your wife, um, that's the best way to do that. Okay, so does it know if someone is home so the lights don't go off when they're there? It does not know when someone is at home. So you would need to set that notification and so that just having lights going automatically off. Okay, so one of the things popped up about um, the time clock, so one of the things I do want to explain is whenever you set a time clock scene, so I'm going to go back to a picture of that here to kind of explain. That is just a one action item. So what I mean by that is whenever you are setting something up here, you would, um, like for example here, this 11 p.m. it says lights turn off. This is only an action to turn lights off. It is not an action to turn lights on at a later time. So if you want lights to turn off at sunrise and on at sunset, then you would have to set both of those up in your app. So I just want to make sure that we're all aware that it's not just um, an on and off thing. You have to set both of them at whatever time you want them to be at. A question came in, what is the difference between a SmartBridge Pro and a SmartBridge Pro 2? Basically, the only difference between those two devices is that the SmartBridge Pro 2 will work with the Apple HomeKit. Um, so as you may know, Apple is very, very secretive a lot of the things that they do. So Lutron was under an NDA as we were one of the first people to be HomeKit enabled. So we actually didn't know, um, being the Salesforce, when they changed the part number from the SmartBridge Pro to the SmartBridge Pro 2, what was going on. And then they later announced it and said, hey, by the way, this works with Apple HomeKit. So if, um, if you don't care about Apple HomeKit and telling Siri to turn things on and off, there is no difference between the two, um, the SmartBridge Pro and the SmartBridge Pro 2. But I will say that Lutron no longer sells the, the original one just to be safe. If you are somebody at home that has a SmartBridge Pro and wants to get a SmartBridge Pro 2, what I recommend doing is calling into our tech support and talking to them about uh, your situation and they'll be more than happy to take care of you. All right, and then the last question. Um, can you set up an in-wall dimmer outside the bridge range and paired with a Pico within bridge range as a relay to extend range? Unfortunately, no. So 
What you can do is you can have that Pico paired to both devices, and if you touch the Pico itself, then it will um, control both devices in the system and devices out of the system. I tried this. I actually have a mixture of some Maestro wireless stuff at my home and then the Caseta. So I tried to do that exact same thing. I added the Pico into the system, added it to the Maestro wireless that was separate outside of the system, and tried to control it from the button press in the actual app, and it didn't work. So, But you can use the Pico to control things within the system and outside of the system. Uh, would this apply for shades also, like closing and opening shades? Absolutely. So our system, the Caseta Wireless system, does control our shades. Uh, you can open, close, go to a specific uh, drop down. So as I was mentioning with my, my mom, you know, she likes to wake up in the morning, has the sunrise and the shades. And so she actually has her shades on the timer. So anything that you could do with a normal uh, light fixture or dimmer, you can do with the shades as well. So um, moving them up and down time clock event, geofencing, uh, all those different things you can do with our shades. All right. Those are really, really great questions. Keep them coming. We've pretty much gone through most of the system itself now. So what I really wanted to focus on are um, some of the sales strategies and some of the things that we focus on as uh, salespeople here in Southern California things that have worked, uh, and um, we're, again, more than happy to come out, work with each and every one of you on different opportunities that you have. We can help with design and layout and all that, so just let us know. <clears throat> all right, so we actually did a study. We went back to all the different uh, people that have Caseta, purchased Caseta, and kind of asked them, you know, what was really important to them and, and why did they do it? So there's by far the number one answer was really just peace of mind and security. So they wanted to be able to know that their house isn't burning down or um, if there's a burglar, they want to be able to tie their system into that exterior lights turn on, stuff like that. So um, that's really the biggest the biggest selling point of this system is just the, the ability to check in and know what's going on. Um, energy savings is great and convenience is a lot of fun, but Usually what we find is the people that are showing the app is to show it off to their friends and show them how cool it is. Or you can be really lazy and just have your phone on you all the time like me. So some of the benefits of electrical contractor. Um, number one, wireless technology solves problems. I cannot tell you how many times I've been at a uh, tower morning or you know at light fair, and I always get someone that comes up to me and tells me that, they solve problems with Picos, and they look like a hero, and it's just so easy, and everybody loves it. Um, again, that wireless three-way, that is just so key. Everybody has a space in their home where they wish they could out of control. That is pretty much a uni universal truth. If anyone knows Blake Steele, he calls it his litmus test, 999 times out of 1,000. Someone has somewhere in their home where they wish they had a switch. Another great thing is this. The, is the timer really is, is one of the best selling points of Caseta Wireless. You know, there's some really simple wall box timers out there um, that you can, that they're very inexpensive. However, when power goes out, it's a pain in the butt to reprogram them. Um, they're constantly having customers calling them back, trying to ask them how to use it. And it never accounts for daylight saving time either. With the Caseta Wireless, all of that is accounted for. So once you actually set it up in your app what you want it to do, it's very easy to change, and daylight savings time is automatically accounted for, so you don't have to do any changes to that. Um, and standard wall box wiring. So all the dimmers are just the two-wire dimmers. Um, they come with neutral or non-neutral, depending on what you need. So there's no extra wire pulls that needs to be do, done. This really is meant to be a retrofit product. So you could use this new construction or a retrofit. And last but not least is no callback. So Lutron has been well known in the market for having some of the best quality dimmers on the market, in the marketplace. Um, we have end of the line testing of every single one of our products. So our failure rate is less than 1% out of the box. 
and um, and it's well known that our products just last forever. So benefits to the homeowner. So being able to control your lights from anywhere, even just to see status. You know, you check on your home, and you notice at one o'clock in the afternoon that maybe hey, one of your kids is skipping out from class and the lights are on and now you know and you can call them and be like, hey, I thought you were at school. And to see your bedroom lights on. Um, so, so some of the cool things about that. One of my reps, what he does whenever he's traveling away for the night, he will get onto his app and he'll go into his son's uh, bedroom. He'll turn his light on and off, on and off, on and off. And then 30 seconds later, he'll get a response from his dad on text message saying, quit it. Quit it, dad. And that's just his, you know, his little way of saying, hello, I love you, and I'm thinking of you. So that's fun, really cool stuff. Um, but again, safety and security, that's another big one. So by um, being able to turn lights on and off at different times, it can make your house look like your home when you're actually not. You can also connect this into security systems. So if an alarm is triggered, all lights go on, exterior lights flash. Um, so there's a lot of really, really cool benefits, not just being like, hey, I can actually turn this light on and off with my phone. Some of the people that we've gone after and been successful with, uh, service contractors. They're the ones that go out and do a lot of the very simple installations of, you know, changing out receptacles, maybe putting in a new panel at, at somebody's home. This is a really easy way for them to get add-on sales. So. Like I said before, we always joke and say that because data is a gateway drug. Once you get one, you always want more. Um, one of the other really uh, great wins that we've had is people that are flipping homes. This is a really, really great way that they don't have to think about the layout of where they want switches and things to go, and they can add it in later. It's a huge cost saving for them. Uh, production home builders, too. Um, you know, This is one of the ways that production home builders can compete with some of the other people out on the market is by adding in some of these smart technologies and, and creating a true 21st century home. So that's been a really big push from Lutron. And one of the other things I thought was really smart, a lot of the complexes, apartment complexes, even here in Southern California, what they're doing, they're adding in maybe two to three dimmers and switches into the apartment, let them, the people that are moving in know that is smart home ready and then charging an extra 20 to $25 to, quote, turn the system on. Um, and they're actually essentially repaying for the system and then getting money, more money out of it. So another really interesting way to think about how you can use lighting control and smart home technology to make more money. Some of the commercial opportunities. Uh, hotel guest rooms, this is a very simple one. We'll talk about some of the ways that you would do that, and I'll show some pictures of that. Uh, assisted living facilities. So we actually have a Pico that is called a nightlight Pico. It actually stays lit 24-7, so there's a little glowing LED in the middle of it. This is really great for assisted living facilities. One of the biggest problems in assisted living is falls and people falling down um, at nighttime, try to go to the bathroom. So being able to have a control right at the bedside makes it really, really nice for those people, and it actually can keep people from having having falls, believe it or not. <clears throat> so here's a typical retrofit of a hotel room. So if you look at this here, we have you know a pretty standard room where you have a bathroom and the basic living area. Being an outside sales, I have had the pleasure or displeasure of being in a lot of hotels lately. So one of the things that drives me crazy is I can never figure out where all the switches are. It's like they try to hide them on purpose to make it like a nice little scavenger hunt for you to check out the room and see what's all in it. So one of the great ways to use Gaseta is to actually improve the guest experience by making it much simpler to turn on and off the lights. The other reason why you would do this is it's actually code compliant now. So one of the things that the Title 24 code mandates is that all lights must be able to be turned off by that front light switch. So if you're retrofitting a hotel, this is actually a really simple way to solve that problem without having to rewire the entire room. So what we would do here, you see these blue dots are existing switches or dimmers, so you would change those out 
two Pesetas, which are their dimmers, and then you pair a Pico and put this into a two-gang plate to control everything from the room. So very, very simple installation. You don't even need to cut a hole into the wall because you can put a two-gang plate with a Pico over a one-gang back box. Then, if you notice here at the bedside, there's another little green light there. And that would be another Pico. So what you would have there is a four-button Pico where you would have uh, lights on, lights off, and then lamps on, lamps off. So if you wanted to be able to control those separately, you'd have a, an ability to do that. So very, very simple way to add some really cool uh, functionality to a room and make the guests uh, want to come back. So that is most of what we've gone through. Um, again, just to quickly recap, Caseta, it's simple, reliable, and affordable. Affordable. Not very many SKUs, which makes it very simple to design. There are no extra wiring, so you can add that into your, any type of a home, whether they have neutral or non-neutral. And remember, the power of the Pico, my favorite product. You can put it anywhere. Uh, very, very simple to set up. If you haven't seen a Caseta app actually being set up, it actually walks you through every single step of the way, so you'll never forget how to do that. Um, and again, you can always start with one kit, and you build up your system over time. So you get them hooked, get someone a lamp module and a Pico, I promise you they'll come running back for more. So let me get to some of the questions that I saw coming into this. Okay. So the minimum load wattage for a dimmer to work, I believe, is 25 watts. Um, with the neutral, it goes down to 10 watts. So we do have a neutral dimmer and a neutral switch. The switches also shift with what's called a loop MLC, which is a minimum load capacitor. And you can actually wire that in. It essentially mimics like an incandescent light bulb and adds just a slight amount of wattage onto that to make a lot of those uh, issues work. Now, again, if you go to our uh, lutron.com slash bulb list, you can actually find our compatible LED list. And all of the lamps that are on that list are rated um, to work with Caseta with just one lamp. So that should uh, help you with that. So again, lutron.com slash bulb, B-U-L-B, list, L-I-S-E, all one word. Okay, so another question is, for the geofencing, does the app needs to be on the device that will ultimately trigger the light. Yes, it does. And then also for future OS updates, it would be great to have this tie into a Sunrise Sunset database so that lights won't come on if we're in the longer days of the year and it's still light outside. Well, guess what? It can already do that. So that's really awesome. Um, so once you put in, um, set up your system, it will know your, you know, proximate place, you know, your, where, you're, where you live. So that is how it actually figures out the daylight savings time. So every single day, if you say that you want your lights to come on, you know, 15 minutes after sunset, that, that time every single day is going to slightly change, right? So that app is going to do that for you. So that is already a part of the system. Um, How do you connect to a security panel? So there's a couple different security systems that we work with. Um, so you would want to work with one of those. I know alarm.com is one of them. Um, I think that there's some other ones as well. And we can get a list to you of those security systems should you uh, have some questions on that. Do we have a captive key switch for California? Unfortunately, with this system, we do not. Um, but we do have some of that in some of our other systems. So if you do have questions on that, we can get you some more information for the hotel room. All right, so thank you everyone. I'm gonna stay on the line. I've gone through all the questions that I've gotten. If there are any other questions you have, I will keep taking questions. Uh, we did record this session, so we will be able to get this back to you. 
uh, if you have any questions. And then last but not least, as you see on the screen, you have both my contact information and then Jim Bryce Snyder, the principal of Western Lighting and Energy Control. Reach out to either one of us and we can help you with more training, joint sales calls, um, where to buy, all of that information. Thank you very, very much and I look forward to talking to you again. <laughs> Do I have to ask a question or can I just express my undying devotion to Lutron? My friend, you can always express your undying devotion to Lutron. Can you turn on a dimmer at a preset level with the dimmer itself? Unfortunately, no. The dimmer itself, you would either turn to full on or if you press the raise button, it would go to like the lowest setting. Um, that is something that's a little bit different than our Maestro dimmer. So the Maestro dimmer, whatever setting you let it on last, when you turn it off, it comes back onto that preset. Unfortunately, no, these dimmers do not do that. Okay, so another question, um, so to follow up on the last one, if I'm driving home in the winter at 6 p.m., geofencing would trigger welcome home theme. During the summer, driving home at 6 p.m., I don't want that to happen. Is that possible? Yes, it is possible. So you would just set that up in, into the system. You would set it up. Um, there's a, a little thing that you can click for when you're arriving home that says app only after sunset. You just click that button. So during the summer at 6 p.m., the it's still bright and sunny out, so that welcome home scene would not come on. Your lights would just be set at whatever they were at, whether they're off or if someone's already home and has lights on, um, that's what would happen. So essentially nothing would happen at 6 p.m. Does the Lutron app have to be open to trigger a geofencing scene? No, it does not. So if you are one of those people that goes through and closes all your apps all the time, not a problem, it will still work. All right, again, thank you everyone. It is 4.01 now, so if you have any other questions, keep them coming. Can geofencing be tied to an astro clock event, the time clock? Uh, so what I was kind of just describing is the way that you would, would do that. Um, you wouldn't necessarily tie a geofencing to a time clock event, but you can have it tied to only turn on after sunset, um, or you can have it come on to a scene. So a specific scene can be triggered as well. Way to go, Chelsea. Thank you, Jim. Jim, do you have any last parting just, words you'd like to, any wisdom? I got no wisdom. Just if we can uh, help you guys in any way, just give uh, give us a call. And uh, thanks for taking the time today. That concludes today's Casado Wireless webinar. On behalf of Western Lighting and Energy Controls, we'd like to thank you for attending.